all right guys welcome back to my tutorial channel in today's video i want to show you how to install vtu portal creator if you have the software and you're having issues installing it this video will guide you on how to install it so please pay attention and watch the video closely before we start i'm urging you to please use this medium or use this time to subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new tutorial you will be notified now we want to install video portal creator this is a site i want to install it on the site is a mlx ict solutions.com.ng as you can see as i press enter it's showing me 404 meaning that the site is empty nothing is installed in the site yet so this tutorial is going to show you how to install it from scratch so what to do is first of all log into your site c panel type your site slash c panel as you can see it here enter it will open our c panel put your username and password and click on login now now it has logged into the c panel area the first thing to do here is to scroll down and look for file manager as you can see it here file manager you click on it from the file manager you click on public html you can see it here you should know that everything here is empty the directory is empty now create a folder where you are going to install the VT portal creator software. You can see folder here, you can see folder here. You can see folder here. Click on this folder. Now let us use them. Um, let's say portal. Let's install it in a folder called portal. You can create the folder called VTU account and so on. But here we are using portal as a folder name. Now we have a folder called portal. Now open the folder portal before then you can install the software at the home page here if you install it it means the software will be your your home page but in this place here i, I want to install it in a folder called portal so that this home page this empty space here i can install my front end my my front page what users will see when they log in for the first time then when they click on login do not take them to the folder i have created which is called word portal so let us install the software in this folder called portal now. Now it is empty. Click on upload. You can see it up here. Click on upload. Now here you locate where you have the V2 software. The software you have gotten. You have it here, portal creator version 2. Drag it to this area and allow it to load. Allow it to upload. It will count from 1 to 100. When you can to from 1 to 100, then we proceed to the next step. Now that it has gotten to 100, you wait for this blue line to become green. Now it is green now. It means we are done. So you can close this tab. You reload. From here, you, you click on reload. This is what we have. Now, right click on this um, file. Right click and select extract. You can see it here. Or click on the file, click on it like this, and then look at extract here. Click on extract, extract here, extract files. Allow the file to extract, okay, it has extracted. Now click on close. These are all the files. Now delete the main file you uploaded inside there. Look at it here. You delete the file, look at it here. Delete the file. Delete it. Now, when we open our site again, the home page is still empty, but when we click on slash portal, which is that folder we created, you see the software will be there. Okay, it's wrong. Portal. This is the software. This is what we have here. But we can't log in because of... Um, there are other steps to do. Now we have done step one, which is to uh, upload the file to your C panel. Now the next thing to do is to go back to where you have go back to the C panel. This is where we have the file manager. Now 
scroll down, you will see my SQL database. Please, we have so many things here. We have my SQL database wizard. We have removed my SQL. We have PHP my admin. What we want to use is what we want to work on is my SQL databases. This one here. Click on it. Now, what you are doing here is to create database, to create a database, to create any database of your choice. Let us call it, for example, VTU. VTU. Note the file name from the whole username slash the VTU we just created. Copy everything. Copy everything. Come back to where you have the software, where you have all the files. Scroll down and locate a file called DB. This is a file here. It is called DB. Right click on the file. Click on Edit. Click Edit again. Now you see host, DB name, DB user, and DB pass. DB name is a database name we just created. So you delete what is there and paste the new one we just created. Next, go back to the database. Click on go back. Now we have done the first, which is create database. Now let us create user. Scroll down, you see my SQL users. Type in a new name you want to use. Let's see use users. Type a password. Let's me type a password. Type any password of your choice. Don't forget the password because we are going to make use of it. Don't forget the password, please. Remember the username is VTU. Click on create user. It has been created. You have successfully created my SQL username, MLS215-VTU. Go back to the database file. Go to DB user and paste what you just created. This is it. Now paste the password you type in when you are creating the user. Yeah. And then click on save changes. You can you also do it here. Now click on save changes. Click OK. Now it has saved. You can close this file. Now we will go back. We we'll go back again. Remember, step one is to upload the VTU portal creator to the C panel using the file manager. Step two is to create new database. Step three is to create a new user and put a password also. Now step four. Step four is to scroll down. You see where you have add user to database. First, select the database you just created. We have other ones there. The one you just created is this one. Then select the select the database name as well, which is this one. The two should be the same. The two should be what you just created. I created the user called this and the database called this. Now click on add. Tick all privileges and scroll down. Click on make changes. That is done. So after that, go back to C panel. Click on, you can see C panel here. Go back to the main C panel. The place where we saw the file manager, this is the main C panel. Now scroll down. The first thing we use was this uh, my SQL database. Now we want to use this PHP my admin. The next thing now, click on PHP my admin. It will load all the database we have created. Look at them here. The one we are using using now is the first one here. These are the ones I've created in my previous um, lessons also. The one, the one we just did in this video is this one, the first one here, which is um, VTU. Click on it. 
you can see that it is empty. Now click on import. You can see import here. Click on import. Choose a file. C click on choose a file. Now locate where you have the database file stored. The database file is what you are looking for. You have it here. Database, click on it. Click on open. Then scroll down and click on go. Allow it to upload. Okay. It has um, uploaded. It has uploaded. This comes to the end of um, this tutorial on how to install VTU Portal Creator. As it stands now, the software has been properly installed. So we can log in if you have any, if you have the username, you can log in, you can create account. I will do other videos on how to set up the admin areas, set up prices, set up logo, and so on. So please check the video description to see the links to other videos that I have done concerning this video for that creator or check our YouTube channel. You will see other videos on how to set up your prices, set up logo, and set up other things in the video portal creator. Thank you for being part of this video. Please have a nice day.